has unique mesh design and a very stylish case with all these features and you have 200 millimeter fan at the top and also a free space for additional one and we have at the side here also a 120 millimeter uh, to add as well at the back we already have 120 millimeter fan USB 2 port audio plugs USB 3 this is connected to the back through a USB uh, cable to the motherboard and that's the leads for the power and the hard drive the ESATA board reset and switch on that's the USB cable coming from the front to the back so it can be used direct to the motherboard that's to slide 3.5 inch hard drive inside the case without opening the cover it's easy to open this case you just pull it as you see here um, just in and out there is no screws or anything that's the front panel you can see here we have the 120 millimeter uh, fan mounted here and we have a space for additional one this is easy to install the DVDs and 5.25 inch uh, size drives that's for the hard drive racks we have six racks and it's easy you just mount the hard drive inside this um, tray it's easy to put in inside the case inside the case you can see plenty of space um, it's suitable for even the high-end games uh, motherboards and we have here the 120 millimeter uh, fan attached at the back um, this is where the power supply will be installed in this um, area and you can see the dust filter we have here and also we have the 200 millimeter fan at the top plenty of room that's where the CPU will live LG A1155 sockets it support Intel second generation processor i3, i5, i7 and you can see there is capacitor surrounded the area uh, this motherboard has so many features that to improve uh, the cooling as you see through this airflow um, attached to the motherboard if we move to the hard drive uh, SATA we can see here we have the blue navy that's for Marvel uh, 6GB and we have the gray it's for Intel 6GB and you have the SATA 2 4 ports we have 3 PCI Express 16 those 3 slots and we have 2 legacy PCI and 2 PCI Express 1 uh, slots that's the memory for DIMMs this motherboard support up to 32 gig um, if you have the 64 operating system you will be able to see the full advantage of uh, the memory this is the APU which is a switch for enabling the power consumption um, when this motherboard is not used it will adjust itself so you will save power uh, using um, the computer this is the MIM switch when you install incompatible memory it caused the boot to fail as a result you will see there is a drum lid here it will uh, switch the light uh, continuously so what do you do you press this switch until the lid it start blinking to begin um, turning uh, the computer on and to boot successfully that's the user guide manual for this motherboard and we have this uh, DG plus VRM this is for a software that will allow you to basically to improve the efficiency for this 
um, motherboard using the power and also it will enable you to adjust the frequency voltage so you'll have uh, a more stable consistent um, operation using this uh, motherboard and generating less heat so your devices and components will live longer um, this CD-ROM I don't normally use the CD it comes with the motherboard I download the latest drivers from uh, ASUS website we have here the USB 3 this is will be um, basically installed direct to the motherboard it will uh, add two USBs uh, 3 at the back and we have here SATA 6 uh, GP uh, connections two wires and SATA uh, 3 we have here the front panel header for the power and this for enabling a cross fire uh, if you use a 2 PCI E Express 16 and use the dual uh, two video cards and that's the back for the motherboard uh, case that's the Intel Core i5 processor uh, box and that's the standard uh, heatsink it comes by default with the CPU normally this is is fine for environment that you don't have um, lots of uh, power consumption and it's a cool environment to use in our case here we're not going to use this heatsink we're going to use NH-U9B uh, Noctia uh, high performance uh, heatsink fan which comes with two 92 millimeter fan this is the heat sink as you see it comes with four heat pipes this is going to be installed on top of the CPU and then we have this uh, brackets this underneath the motherboard would be mounted so this when it sit it sit um, uh, nicely and we have here that's uh, the fan so one will be in one side and the other it will be on the other side and you can see the clips so this is will be um, installed and attached to here to this side and then it will blow the air um, outside at the back of the computer we're going to use Radon HD 6850 um, graphic card it will support 3D and also it's one of the really good video card that will work very very well with this uh, computer um, to maintain the affordability and also it's not that very expensive so you will add that value to this computer we're going to use a thermaltic uh, light power um, 700 watts as you see it's eco-friendly and it comes with two year uh, warranty so that's add value as well to this high-end power supply now with the RAM we're going to use uh, Corsair uh, the 8 gig RAM so this is uh, another cool stuff we're going to use with this um, a dual channel uh, to have the 8 gig installed we're going to use Microsoft Windows 7 Home Premium 64 bit so we will take advantage of using the operating system if we upgraded the memory to 16 um, we don't need to worry about the software Windows because we already um, have 64 so the system should be fine um, to see the full potential of the memory we're going to use one terabyte Western Digital Caviar Black 64M um, hard drive so we continue we want to maintain this uh, computer cost as low as possible so it will be very affordable for a starter a gamer uh, user to use thank you guys for watching this video all the information for this computer specifications are below and also links to our online store so I will see you next time thank you